Okay, Ainsley had her litter this morning. She went into labor last night and had them today. Um, she's still wet because I gave her a bath because she was a mess. I mean, when they after they give birth, especially a white long coat, she was a mess. And now she's finally feeding her puppies. Um, this one is a female. White could possibly turn cream. Um, this one is a white male and he could possibly turn cream as well. Cream spots or cream. It's just as they get older, I'll know. And then this one is a boy and he is blue and he could possibly turn into a blue fawn as he matures. Um, the f I'll be holding on to all three of these to see how they develop because um, I want to keep one. I'm just not sure which. And there's um, nobody right now on the list for one of the males, but there are people on the list that could possibly want that female if I don't choose her. So I doubt if she'll be available, but one of these boys will be available, possibly both of them. It's just gonna depend on how they turn out. And I'll know that when they're about six weeks old, maybe five weeks. Yeah, hey you. Did you have a rough night? She, she started going into, not really going into labor, but panting. She started doing that at about eight o'clock, right around the time I go to bed. And then she just kept panting all night. And then um, she finally, um, and this is the reason why, and she finally had babies um, in, the, in the morning. She started having them about 5.30, she started contracting. But this is the reason why whenever you get a retired mother from a breeding program, they always want to eat poop. There's nothing you can do about it. They, it's their instinct. They, see how she's eating it? If she doesn't do that, okay, it, it, you got more, Ainsley. She's a first time mama, she doesn't realize what she's doing. You got more. If she doesn't do that, the puppies will die. They, they cannot do it by themselves for the first 10 days or so. And sometimes the moms, if they, especially if they have a big litter, they won't do a good job at it. And um, if you notice one of the puppies over to the side crying, not eating with a bloated belly, if you go over to the faucet and get warm water and rub their little groin area, and you got sometimes it takes over a minute, you know, of constant rubbing. You don't want to give up. You keep doing it. Sometimes maybe even up to two minutes. I never really timed it, but um, it seems like forever sometimes. But then all of a sudden they go, and then they stop crying and they feel better. Right. So that's your job. You got to make sure they go potty. Mm -hmm. They can't even go pee pee by themselves without being stimulated. No. So, anyways, there's my beautiful litter. I was so excited to see them because mommy and daddy are so pretty and it's both their first litters. I just can't wait to see these guys develop. I'm very excited about these guys. Okay.